A few people were back today outside this home sales office in Markham. On the weekend, more than 500 were here to put down deposits on new homes. In just two days, the developer sold nearly 800 houses. These people were hoping a few were still left. Buy a house and, uh, and possibly uh, sell the one I own now. I've checked them out and they do a decent product for a, a very fair price. But when the doors finally opened at noon, the home buyers got bad news. Everything's completely sold out, not a house left. That was a disappointment for this woman. Yesterday I was here, sold out. Today they're sold out. It's just very disappointing. Some people who bought homes here on Saturday sold them on Sunday for a fast profit. All the demand drove prices up by more than $15,000. The company selling homes says it knows why there was feverish buying. Our location, access to TDC, our low interest rate of 9 and 7, 8 for three years, open mortgage, and price. Housing experts say the price is reasonable for Toronto. I feel, my gut feeling is it's a good buy for $200,000 in the Markham area. But some houses being sold as bargains nowadays will cost homeowners more than they expected. The owners of this development in Angus have run out of money, and buyers may have to pay out of their own pockets to have the home finished. Builders say that's all the more reason for buyers to look twice at what might appear to be a good deal. To research the community, look at the builder, check out the offer of purchase and sale with the lawyer. That's one of the key things I think the buyer must be cautioned of. And, uh, and I really would uh, hope that the most of the people who probably bought on the weekend had a good chance to look at that before they signed on the dotted line. The rush to buy new homes in Toronto isn't expected to slow much. Prices are forecast to rise between 3 and 5 percent before the end of the year. That prospect has caused many potential home buyers to get into the market right now. Sean O'Shea, Global News.